Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video um, is based on this window motor. This is one of the most recent ones I built that I sell on my website. And instead of using the Bedini circuit, uh, I got my Hall Effects circuit hooked up. So if you look in here, I have the Hall Effects sensor and um, just ran the wire straight off there down to the circuit. So um, if those of you who are new to this um, page, um, this has a three-quarter inch magnet in it, neo magnet, with the two coils. I have them set in parallel, and this circuit is a Hall circuit with a MOSFET, uh, but it also has a generator mode, um, which this has also, which is kind of cool. So, and then we have the pulse width modulator hooked up to it, and um, yeah, I was just doing some tests on this. I had planned on making a circuit um, like this that'll fit on here um, for future future product so I thought I'd give this a try and see how things go so right now we just have it on regular SG output uh, we just turn this on and it actually starts running if it's at the perfect timing so you could see this is all pulse width so you could actually make this motor do that um, with the Bedini circuit if you get the resistance right but um, yeah so right now no load and we have the output coming over here going to this big cap. Um, this is uh, 833,000 and um, all in parallel and then it's dumping in here with a 15 volt trigger zinger. So about 15 and a half volts that fires. Um, right now the the power is so low that it's barely it's doing like a half fire. So we're going to do is start turning this thing up. So as we start turning this up, now you can see the cap dump is actually firing at its full. So um, it's basically a full 5 amps every time that discharges. You can see the voltage of the charging battery. So this is all 12 volts. Here's our run amps right now, which is about 200 milliamps. So we're just going to keep bringing this up. You can see how the waveform starts changing. So that's full at 12, so we're using about a half an amp, and then this is pulsing a little slow. Uh, if we actually back this off a little bit, right there, then it'll actually start uh, running the cap dump better. But um, it needs a load, so we're going to put a pound on it, but if I just load this by hand, see the cap dump starts firing good. So. Let's turn this down and put a load on this thing. These circuits, um, they tend to run better when you have a load. Um, just running at idle speed and without a load um, doesn't always have very much output. So let's kick this back on. So now, now we got this load. This is basically an 8 inch fan, 3 prop. And um, you can see the pulse width, it's really cool. So, start bringing this back up now, now that we have a load. So, now you can see the cap dump is actually working properly. So, we're running one amp, discharging five amps. So, about every three seconds, we're getting five amps. And then we could see, keep bringing this up. So at full power, you can see it has a nice little H. And actually at full power, um, the cap dump doesn't work the best. So we actually want to back it off just a little bit to where it chops it up. And uh, we could actually tune it for the best. It's about one and a half, get the best return of the energy. So, so that's the regular version. So now we're what we're gonna do is switch this over to the gen mode, uh, which uses a lot more power, especially in this um, configuration. But um, but it sure makes a lot more power. So you can see the scope looks a little bit different. It's kind of taking this whole top off. Um, I have the scope uh, backwards as I usually do, so the output's up on the top. 
So you can see the spikes coming out. So let's bring this back up a little bit. So at two amps, we could do quite a bit of energy return. It's about every second and a half. We could bring it up full power. About three and a half amps there. But like I said, when it's like this, it doesn't charge the best. You want to back it off just a little bit at two and a half, and then you get a lot of charge in there, maybe even two. So you can still run the load, still has power, and you get a lot of energy back, which is really neat. So you can see that battery is bouncing up good. When we started, it was 12.2. So the with the generator mode, if you're using a cap dump, you really want to keep the voltage low on this. You don't want to charge it up to like 20 volts because it'll make your motor surge a lot. So keeping it at like 15 volt discharge um, works really well for the generator mode. So yeah, be cool. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments.